Greetings, users and programs. This is Itari Living Sacrifice, continuing some Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We're going to continue or finish the Charles Darwin Memories. The next one is the Berlin Specimen. He's looking at flowers, I'm assuming. Fagus Silvatica, Ulmus Minor, Paxus Bacata. Protect Darwin's colleague and retrieve a valuable fossil. Oh, it started to rain. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Peavy Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry. How did they know they were twins? They don't look anything alike. Nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it. The cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. I do not wish anyone to be hurt because of my research. You help me research, with Derek, not sir. research. I am research. in debt. We help each other, sir. My brother and I will make sure that you can continue your work in peace. What do you know of bones? Only a few of their names learned from books. Hmm. Perhaps it would be simpler if I just explained the situation. A few days ago, a German colleague, Dr. Schwartz... His Schwartz is bigger than mine! He informed me he was on his way to London to deliver a very important fossil, you see. Yes, see. In fact, he should arrive at Charing Cross any moment now. Would you ensure no harm comes to him? Yes, see. I'll ensure Dr. Schwartz's safety. And make sure you get that fossil. Yes, sir. Splendid. But please do be careful. Be careful, yes, sir. You'll find Dr. Schwartz. I'm getting trouble, Cosby. There's an old internet show. It only had like three or four episodes because it got shut down so quickly. It was called... The House of Cosmes. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it. Kidnap Dr. Schwartz? What is the meaning of this? Mr. Darwin has sent me to ensure you reach him safely with your cargo intact. Just act naturally. Right. So, how is how your father? How am I going to find him? By which I mean, my dear brother Frank. This like finding a needle in a haystack, this is. Oh, You're splendid! Wonderful to hear. Wouldn't I'll do my best not to call attention to how remiss he was in forgetting to warn me about Wouldn't the delicate to situation which like. brings me here today. Like finding a needle in a haystack, this is. So I guess I can either go left or right. Do you see him? Like finding a needle in a haystack, this is. Oh, wow. Almost didn't notice him. Is that another staircase? Over there? There is another staircase. Like finding a needle in a haystack, this is. Wouldn't hurt to know what the bugger looks like. What the heck? Never got on the train. Oh man. Oh, I was not expecting that at all.
That was very unexpected. I'm running over his dead body. Dead body in the streets. I should deliver this to Mr. Darwin. You don't mind if I take this, do you? It's a police carriage. Thought I got points for stealing the police carriage. I guess they have to be on it for it to count. This is a narrow alley. If we ever did see one. At last, my heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it? Wonderful. But where is Dr. Schwartz? I'm afraid he was intercepted, sir, in Germany. However, I have recovered the fossil. Dear Lord. I should tell you, I was recently approached by men who sought to purchase all my research on the condition I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Let these villains do their worst. Hmm. How come it's not yellow? Haven't they always been yellow? Darwin and Dickens conspiracy. Hmm. Oh, I kind of want to do this just so I have the voltaic bombs to play with. Huh. We'll do that after we do the, uh, the other Darwin and Dickens. Very good driver. I like to drive in the driveway, drive on Sundays. What was the, uh. Let's see if there's directions on driving. Reverse brake is left trigger. Okay. That's it. That's all I needed. Blue hold button. Okay. It wanted me to do like... Not turns. What do they call them? Drifts. It wanted me to drift. My bad. God, that's so sick nasty. He was dead already. He was dead already, Evie. Don't overdo it. We know how awesome you is. An abominable mystery. Investigate a strange flower that has appeared in London. Hmm. Ah, my young friend. How good it is to see you. Fortunate, really. It would appear a highly toxic plant, which has the extraordinary effect of making people quite...
quite delirious has been found in this very park. Yet as far as modern science is aware, no such plant exists. I fear the good people of London might be in danger. Will you investigate? Hmm. Looks like they have some nasty pollen. Shoot and kill a Templar inside the flower's pollen. Is it making people delirious or just me? Hmm. Not your average flower. Mr. Doran was right about these plants. Oh, I don't feel well. I haven't even seen a Templar. That's one less to worry about. Are they just gathering around watching? These footprints must belong to a rogue gardener. Why is he so far away? I'm poisoning the streets. Poisoning the streets of Buckingham Palace. I can't remember the name of this park. This is a pretty park. Don't run over, Mr. Darwin. Not unlike the soothing syrup, I should think. We must dispose of it, and quickly. I believe, my young friend, that I might know just the place. Who would want to poison the population of London? Who could devise such a nefarious plan? Obviously, it can't be Dr. Elliotson. So who can it be? An organization my brother and I have been fighting all our lives. 
Dr. Elliotson was one. I'm afraid, my young friend, that some of your enemies want their toxin returned to them. Might I suggest you position our carriage directly in front of theirs? I believe the fumes will impair their ability to drive. Now where to? We're still poisoning the entire population. Well done indeed. Now we must hurry and destroy our cargo. We're almost there. Almost where? Oh my gosh. What an escapade. That's kept me up to no end. The people of London are fortunate to have you on their side, my young friend. Very fortunate indeed. Well, I'm not right now. You will take good care of yourself, won't you? All right. Where else is Charles Darwin at? There's the big D, <clears throat> excuse me, there's the big D right there. Hmm. Oh, this one hurts. She has to hit her head. There's no way. Every time I see it. Oh, I'm gonna steal this cart. All right, you saved my life too. You saved my life and in return, I must steal your cart. This looks fun. It's like a carnival cart. Your Deacon Soap... Your advertisement cart is not as good as mine. How did Mr. Darwin get here so fast? Defamation. Be a deer and fetch Darwin a newspaper. Are you serious? My young friend, today's papers carry a rebuttal of Mr. Owen's slanderous and ignorant remarks about my work. However, I'm feeling quite like a fossil today. Would you be a dear and get me a copy of the newspaper? Sure! Why not? Take whatever you want. Help me! Stop that! He's just yawning. Sure would like to ride a horse. 
like I used to be able to do in the first game, right? Oh! Ouch! Well, guess what's gonna happen now? Get out of my way! Dang it! Wowzers! I mean, I've never had that happen before. They just came out of nowhere. Maybe it's supposed to happen that way. We'll find out. If it happens again. Might be able to catch him a lot faster this time. Unless he runs in a different direction. Or he's running faster than he normally, than he used to run. Uh oh. That's not good. I thought I'd take a shortcut. It wasn't a shortcut. Everything comes running out of nowhere. It does! It does! It does it on purpose! That's crazy! They timed it and everything! Oh, he's slowing down on me! He's losing stamina! Why am I walking so slow? What's going on? Let me keep running! Oh, it doesn't let me catch up to him that soon. Oh my gosh, where's everybody else running? You're running the wrong way! He's gonna get hit by a train, isn't he? He was gonna get hit by a train. Attack the newsboy. A man paid me and my mates to force newsboys to display this leaflet. Yeah, take the bloody thing and leave me alone. Mr. Darwin will want to hear about this. Cruel caricature. Track down the source of the anti-Darwin propaganda. Oh, look, it's Darwin on a monkey. Darwin on a monkey. Darwin likes monkeys. If I ever had a monkey, I would name him Darwin. Assuming he's inside the station. Oh my gosh, dancing, dancing Evie. The cruel caricature tracked down the source of anti Darwin propaganda. We are not apes. 
If the circumstances were not so grave, I'd compliment the artist on the wonderful caricature. They are fools if they believe they can stop progress by printing leaflets and killing newsboys. We must find out who is behind this propaganda before more innocents are harmed. I should very much like it if you could find and remove these awful things. Perhaps you can catch one of the bill posters red-handed. Wait, wasn't there another one right here? Oh. This is vandalism. Someone should inform the police. Not another step. Do you understand? God created us in his image, and he does not look like a monkey. Why is everybody running? Because I took down a poster? Oh my gosh, these horses. They're, mo they're my most hated enemy. The horses. Oh, so once I get to the green area, I have to find the poster. Right? No? No, I do not. It's over there. How have you missed me? So close. Must borrow your cart. Thank you. I'll bring it back. I'll bring it back in slightly used condition. That one's on a cart. He ran from me. Uh, keep going there, horsey. Keep going. I believe in you. He didn't even try to avoid me. Run over the bill poster. Does that count? It counts. Map. Map leading towards a secret print shop located in the sewers. Oh, wrong direction. Everybody gathered around to see the cart. 
Somebody actually put the cart before the horse. That would be a stinky little enterprise. I couldn't stand walking in the sewer. I'd be so disgusted the entire time. Uh oh. Ah. Yeah, that's just sick nasty. What? Sabotage what? Oh, I didn't even read it. Probably to kill, blow them all up in one hit. Reach the sewer exit. Street rat exit. That was a silly goal. Darwin. Nope, that's not Darwin. B and a D kind of look similar. to next to the D the big D how come all oh, right fine Sorry, Queenie. There's a juggler. Can you juggle with me right up on you? Oh, you dropped your balls. I hope to God that computer games are not like. Coming with up with uh, like AI because I've been a dick to a lot of them. <laughs> Wonder if if human beings are if we're a computer program. I wonder how many just dickheads are people that are playing a character <laughs> against us or something. Rescue Darwin before it's too late. Too late. A struggle for existence. Unique materials, dinosaur talon. The unspeakable has I want this. A policeman arrested Mr. Darwin and carried him away as if he were nothing but a common criminal. That policeman, he is corrupt to the bones, I'm sure of it. Oh, I do so fear for Mr. Darwin's safety. Miss Nightingale, do you know where they might have gone? The 
policeman. He did mention a funeral. I believe I know where it is. Follow me. I've been following you this whole time. Been through so much recently. Those people are trying to discredit a lifetime of work. It's disgraceful. And I fear Mr. Darwin is no longer the fit young man who once traveled the world. Here we are. The obsequies are taking place here. Obsequies? I will wait here. Kidnap the policeman out being detected. Call for desperate measures. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I serve God, whom I shall see for myself. Where's the exit? Where's the bloomin' exit? Oh my gosh. There is no exit. I should know better. Could you imagine doing this without the bon without the bonus? How the heck do you get out? I'm about to restart it because I want to know where the entrance is before I walk all the way around. There's so many policemen. Why are there so many policemen? Oh, it wasn't on this side. It's got to be on this side. Is that it right there? There it is. Arresting an old man and dragging him off to Lord knows where is fine work indeed for a policeman. Now, sir, tell us where you have taken Mr. Darwin. A man paid me to bring him to his secret base. Secret base? We will need transportation. Da did he tell me where the secret base was? I forgot I have the power to call upon rooks now. No. 
Let us find Mr. Darwin, shall we? With all due respect, I think... Shall we? Yes, we shall. She just gonna be able to come up here? He's very weak. We shouldn't move Mr. Darwin until I have seen to his wounds. They're here! Attack! What? How did you get on the ground? Ah. Huh? Were you going somewhere, Please look after him, Miss Nightingale. My brother and I will visit soon. Goodbye, Miss Nightingale. I'll just be invisible here. Well, look who's here. We were very worried about you, sir. We're looking spry for a fossil, sir. A man's friends are the best measure of his worth. I'm proud to count you among mine. The dangers pass us. No need to leave, sir. What Mr. Darwin needs now is rest. To that end, he's joining his family on the Isle of Wight. Rest, indeed. I shall start work on my next book. I must insist that you recuperate quietly, sir. The acquisition of knowledge is in itself sufficiently recuperative. Go tell her. <laughs> this is one fight I am to avoid, sir. Thank you for everything, my friends. Ideas, like people, can only thrive when they are free. Is Miss Nightingale his lady friend? There was somebody in the trunk. Somebody is hiding in the trunk. Careful! Dinosaur Talon. I needed that for something. What did I need it for? To make something, I'm pretty sure. It wasn't this. Ooh. Attack. Stun. I'm going to upgrade that. I'm not going to equip it. I'm just going to upgrade it. I probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have waited till I made whatever it was. Let's see, I think it was him. Was it a belt? I needed 10,000. Son of a biscuit. Ah, oh well. Let's switch back to Eevee. Go to my inventory and see. Wait, was that it? Lethality is less, but the stun is higher up. Let's go with the Obsidian Kukri for a little bit. And see, uh... See how this fares. 
And the problem is, Darwin just left, but it wants me to do the Darwin and Dickens Conspiracy. Let's go ahead and do that before we end the... Before we end... End the episode. Let's see if there's a closer... This one's closer. But he... Darwin has left the building. How are we... Uh, um, I guess they must not be involved. They must be about them, not with them. Darwin's orchid. Darwin's back. He's back. My young friend, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but I need to ask a favor of you. A delivery awaits me at the docks. A very rare orchid, all the way from the island of Madagascar. But there is a problem. One of my associates wants the flower for himself. He sent ruffians to collect it, if you can believe that. Oh, I can believe it. Reach the docks before the thugs, and they're just going to keep counting down. I need you to collect it for me first. Well, how am I supposed to... not reach the docks before the thugs. Oh, what the heck? Oh man, I'm just... I'm crazy with them knives. Look at here. I'm just gonna leave a couple of you behind. We don't need you.
Oh, there was a bunch of you in the cart, huh? How does anything live in that... live in that water? Return to Darwin in a carriage. Ah. Ah, thank you, my young friend. Thank you. This little orchid may seem inconsequential, but it holds secrets which could potentially change our very understanding of the world. It would have been a shame to lose it. A shame indeed. Thank you. There was a very particular orchid in his research, wasn't there? I cannot remember anything about it. All right, we have 10,000. So, he can make his special belt that probably will not be as good as the one I'm already wearing. Legendary assassin belt. To upgrade it, will give me three plus one. So basically, it'll be the same as the beer belly belt. Oh well. I have nothing else to spend my money on right now anyway, so no big deal. Any other conspiracies? Any other side quests? Yep, right here. We can pick up a couple things along the way. All right, let's head on over there. It's right there. Hmm. How to collect it? Is this it? This will be it, huh? There was a treasure chest right here. Let's collect that. Is it inside the building or outside the building? Charles Dickens likes her better, I'm sure. Our mutual friend. Greet a friend of Mr. Dickens and Mr. Darwin. Ah, my dear Darwin, do you think our young friend here, equipped with a multiplicity of talents, might be enough to ensure Mr. Hammond safe passage? I do not believe I've had the pleasure of meeting a Mr. Hammond. A mutual friend of ours. He arrives in London today. From South Africa, no less. Mr. Hammond is possessed of both tremendous wealth and charming innocence. Which makes him rather attractive prey for some of our great city's less savory inhabitants. That would be me! We fear he'll need a more robust escort than two old men might provide. I'm Rich and naive. Busy. We have already told him to expect you. But, uh, but his but. train should have arrived ten minutes ago. Then I shan't keep him waiting. Splendid. Off you go. 
Well, thank you for volunteering me. I just got voluntold. Inside the building, there's a treasure chest somewhere in here, too. Down, up. How do we get up there? Come on, climb. Oh, my gosh. How do you tell her to climb that thing? Oh my gosh. There's got to be a way to... Oh my gosh, fine. We'll go look for another way to do it. Mr. Hammond, I presume. Mr. Hammond, I believe? That is correct. Evie Fry. Mr. Dickens sent me to meet you. And Darwin. Oh, good old Dickens. How very kind of him. Lead on, then. London. Can't say I've missed the weather. My father passed away recently, and I have come home to settle his affairs. Also, I am to be married. You don't sound oh, too nice. eager for the happy event. Good day. I have never even met my future bride, Bella Wilson. It was all arranged for me. She may be a good woman, or she may not. I stand to inherit a vast sum. Can I be certain that the lady is not simply in it for the money? Attack somebody! Jeez, I'm pushing all the right buttons. Oh, he's not doing too bad. Ah! Come on! Attack him! Jeez! Lord in heaven! That did give me an idea. Perhaps I can test my bride's sincerity. By doing what? I officially dead and have thus shed my fortune. I shall meet Bella Wilton as a nobody. We shall see if she'll have me now. Come, we must dispose of my body. Find us a carriage to take us to the river. How about this one right here? So he's going to put his ID on this guy's body. Or a video game, if you've ever heard of those before.
Did he just try to take off without me? Excellent. Now let us go and meet my fiance. I can't wait to see her response. I feel quite liberated, as if a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. After this, just to be sure, would you take me to my fiance's house? I shall deliver the sad news myself. She's Don't gonna you think kill you. A risky? Yes, it's very risky. Very risky. I didn't get to hear what he was gonna say. I went too fast. Miss Wilson? Yes? My name is John Rokesmith. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. Oh? Your fiancé, John Hammond, was found dead in the River Thames this morning. Oh, how awful! Poor Mr. Hammond. I am at a loss at what to say to you, sir. You must forgive me. She is delightful. Why, I do believe I love her. Well, now you done ruined it. Intrigued than she is appalled. Now you done ruined it, son. An artful plan. That was a bad idea. If you're gonna do something like that, have somebody else deliver the news so you can say it was a mistake. That was most definitely not a mistake. You did that on purpose, son. That'll come back to bite ya. Help John Hammond win the heart of the girl. Downloaded content. I bet she hates you now, doesn't she? You remember that young lady I was engaged to marry before I feigned my death so that I could see what sort of woman she was? Well, I have good news. I'm now in love with her and I want to marry her after all. And I need you to help. I have a rather artful plan. You, playing the part of a ruffian, will kidnap her. Then you must bring her to where I am waiting. I shall leap from a shadowy corner and beat you to a pulp, thereby saving her life and winning her heart. Have you thought this through? I bet as well as he thought the last plan through. Put me down somewhere insalubrious and I shall ready an ambush for you. This will do. Looks rough enough. Off you go and nab her. She's at Waterloo Station, I believe. Probably should switch to the brother then. He could play the part of a ruffian. Miss Evie could never be an evil woman. She's too sweet and charming and everything I've ever wanted in a woman outside of my own wife. Because my wife is pretty darn awesome. This is Waterloo, huh? Waterloo Station. Am 
I can't get in this one. Ah. That's right, there's no connecting anything to these two stations. Because they were at war with each other or something. You gotta let me go to the station! Oh my god. That's annoying. There's gotta be another entrance there, then. That I just didn't see. Or maybe once you make it to that point, it's too late. She's getting closer to the exit. I've had to kill policemen now. Come on, Fackler. Fackler. Out of the way, good sir. We make for a peculiar pair. You'll be found out in no time. Is there nothing I can say to make you release me? Don't run over us. You're coming. Uh, yeah. Just stay in there to keep her company. Is somebody else coming? Come on, buddy. Come on, we might need you. Now we have a full cart. White women, always demanding things.
Unhand her, ruffian. I shall save you, madam, for I am John Hammond, your fiancé. What? Olga! This has gone too far. Please stop. How do I stop them from killing him? Crap! Crap. How do I stop them from killing him? I have to dismiss them beforehand, huh? That was that sucks. Ruffian, I shall save you, madam, for I am John Hammond, your fiance. What? Oh god. <laughs> What? How do I... How do I... Shake... How do I put on weaker instruments in the middle of a fight? Ruffian, I shall save you, madam, for I am John Hammond, your fiancé. What? Olga! Take this, you rogue! Take your punishment! Uh-oh. Jeez. I don't know what to do here. I can't switch to a weaker weapon. Hmm. How do I lose the fight? Ruffian, he won't attack. I shall save you, madam, for I am John Hammond, your fiancé. What? Oh, Take this, you rogue! Take your punishment! This is all rather suspicious. Ah, clearly, I... Take this, you rogue! Take your punishment! Ha! Ah, clearly, I am a better! You rogue! Take your punishment! Ha! Clearly, I am your better! Take this, you rogue! What a happy coincidence that you were here to save me! Wasn't it? And if you will allow me, my dearest Bella, I shall forever be by your side to protect you from this day forth. Come, my dear, let us be gone from this terrible place, and I shall explain all. <laughs> Please don't explain that. Part. Is she gonna have me arrested? I'm certain Mr. Dickens and Mr. Darwin would like to know of their friend's good fortune. What a weird. What a weird, uh. What would you call it?
adventure that was. No carts to steal to make it faster. There's a cart now that I'm already here. Uh, thank you for taking me 15 feet there, good sir. And so all's well that ends well. Our young lovers are united at last and will soon marry. I too hope to meet a man who will fake his own death <laughs> and arrange my abduction just to see if I can be trusted. And by the looks of you, they really hit it off. <laughs> I must say, it's all rather exciting. I do love these sorts of tales. It all feels strangely familiar. I wonder why. We should drink to John Hammond and his unconventional idea of courtship. Indeed. To John Hammond. Is that a book of his? Our mutual friend. All right. Any more? Or was that the last one? I hope there's more. I'm having fun with them. I don't see any more letters other than the letter B. So we'll do that one on the next episode. As always, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see y'all on the next one. Remember to always keep moving forward!